Starting your Locker Natural hair journey is oh so rewarding, but can be extremely stressful when you start to consider what products to use. If that's you, then look no further. Locklicious is a Black-owned company that has created an all-natural product line for locked and loose natural crowns. The Locklicious team works hard to ensure that their products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, PEG, synthetics, and other toxic chemicals you find in other products. Best of all, the products are lightweight and will not leave residue or cause buildup. Go to Locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. Hello, my beautiful people. Yes, you are beautiful. And I want you to stay beautiful and healthy. Remember, health is wealth and is the best currency you could ever own. By the way, my name is Olivia Antongo. I'm a wellness and nutrition therapist. And today we're going to talk about sugar, all the sweet, sweet things we love. Sugar is killing us. Yes, sugar is killing us. Sugar consumption is now an epidemic. You heard me. Sugar has become an epidemic. And here's a few things you need to know. Sugar-related illnesses are skyrocketing. Diabetes, heart diseases, and dementia, amongst others. Yet, according to statistics, Americans are shoveling in more sweet stuff than ever. We know it's bad. We just can't stop, right? We love the sweetness. Science shows it's not simply a matter of self-control. Sugar, it turns out, might be as addictive as hard drugs. Could you be hooked? Could you be hooking your kids, your family members on sugar? Uh, You would uh, never willingly eat poison, right? Okay. You might snack on not so healthy treats every so often. Or scuff down non nutritious junk food uh, or junk simply at happy hour. You know, take a few margaritas, a lot of sugar, cocktails. But to straight up um, eat poison or drink poison, never, right? So you would think. But sugar can act like poison in high doses. And the amount in our diets has gone beyond toxic, beyond toxic. So you need to pay attention to the amount of sugar you're consuming. Uh, According to statistics, okay, a typical American now swallows the equivalent of 22 sugar cubes every 24 hours. Can you imagine? Try to pile those together and see. Uh, the amount of sugar you're consuming. This means that the average woman eats 70 pounds, nearly half her weight of straight sugar every year, just every year. I can tell you I'm not in that box. (laughs) So what does sugar do to your body? Hmm? The body uses sugars and starches from carbohydrates to supply glucose to the brain and provide energy to cells around the body. Okay? Now, uh, carbohydrates also provide fiber and other nutrients to the body. Okay? Now, in in our cases of uh, overconsuming sugars, you wonder what are the dangers, okay? What are the dangers of eating too much sugar or drinking too much sugar? Reasons why too much sugar is bad for you, it can actually, it actually causes diseases, yes. It can cause weight gain. Uh, it may increase your risk of uh, heart diseases. It has been linked to uh, acne. Teenagers, if you're wondering why you're suffering from severe acne, it's because of all the sweets, the the, uh, sugary drinks you keep consuming. Uh, Increases your risk of type 2 diabetes, of course. This is something you don't want. None of us want that. And it may increase your risk for cancer. 
it may also uh, increase your, the risk of depression you know it spikes your blood sugars high and low high and low uh, and then it may accelerate the skin aging process yuck who wants to age faster just because of sugar and you can also increase cellular aging um, I'm drinking some hibiscus mmm yummy now what diseases are caused by sugar consumption of added sugar has been uh, implicated in increased risk of variety of chronic diseases uh, including obesity uh, cardiovascular diseases diabetes and non-alcoholic non fatty liver diseases uh, as well as uh, cognitive uh, decline and even even some cancers okay why is added sugar so bad uh, eating an excessive amount of added sugar can increase uh, triglyceride levels okay which may increase your risk of heart disease you have tooth decay sugar promotes do, uh, tooth decay by allowing the bacteria to multiply and grow so the more often you eat or drink foods with uh, sugar even if it's natural sugar or added sugar the more likely you are to get cavities now this is so important that you make sure you brush your teeth especially before going to bed make sure your kids don't drink sugary drinks in the middle of the night and brush the teeth properly now can we live without sugar <laughs> i'm thirsty today can we live without sugar we don't need to eat sugar or drink sugar we don't need that uh but uh because sugar is easy okay sugars are carbohydrates that are the first energy source the body uh, goes to they are much faster to break down into energy than uh, their protein and fat counterparts and at the end of the day we eat for energy okay we eat for energy so just by consuming enough fibers in your food that's that alone is enough we don't need sugar okay uh and you might wonder how does sugar destroy your body sugar can destroy your uh, immune system how sugar destroy your immune system okay uh you can start with the added sugar foods that are significantly uh that the, the, the foods that significantly raise your blood sugar such as uh those high in added sugars increase the production of inflammation or inflammatory proteins rather like uh too many crosses yeah they are c recreative protein and uh the interleukia okay all of which negatively affect the immune uh, function and of course not to mention uh the uh, blockage of your arteries okay will cutting sugar reduce certain illnesses such as uh belly fat yes this would definitely uh help so one good place to begin improving your food choices is to eliminate sugary drinks and not uh, just soda but juices too so sugar increases belly fat and fiber reduces belly fat so focus more on fibers okay so when you are juicing fruits and you're removing the fat the fiber you're actually leaving more sugar the fructose in a in a in a that's coming from the fruits you need the fiber you need the fiber i know juicing is good but you really need the fiber so just do a smoothie works perfectly um 
we have common su uh, sugar substitutes and sweeteners that one can use if you definitely might have your sugar. You have maple syrup. Uh, these are natural sweeteners. You have the dates. Um, honey. Oh, honey is good. Full of nutrients. Coconut sugar. I haven't tried coconut sugar, but uh, doing some research on coconut sugar, I see that it has really some good benefits. Agave nectar, and of course the monk fruit uh, extracts, all good stuff. And then uh, stevia extracts, um, a lot of people use stevia as their go-to, and it works excellent. So the key here is moderation. If you can't uh, go away from it, don't add sugar to your food. I see a lot of people cooking on social media, adding sugar to their food. Like, really? Now we got to add sugar to our food too? Don't do that. So if you got to drink sugar, do it in moderation. And uh, one thing that, uh, just a tip, if you're not exposed to something from a young age, most likely you will not like it in your adult age. Try to not teach your kids to like sugar. Try and see how that works. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Once again, my name is Olivia Nantongo. See you next time. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on amazon.com.